For each of my sisters, they're made out of paper clay and little uh, thin golf balls inside, and I made that in their honor. Okay, so the door to the utility closet just holds some things that I like. Like, let me show you this apron I made a while back, and no, I haven't used it. It's a, it's a canvas apron, and I made it out of um tea dye bridal trim this is a bag i made a while ago and i do use it sometimes when i go thrifting i love it and just some odd little things that i found a friend of mine i think my friend wanda made me that uh, this is one of my very first um alter domino pieces that i really like and this cute little purse that I like. Just little things that I like. I keep here. This was my niece. She let me have that. So let me step back to this gigantic unit. This gigantic unit I had in my workroom. And it is a lifesaver. Uh, first of all, it fits here perfectly with even a little bit of room at the top for some boxes. So it worked out really well. And this holds tons and tons of stuff. These baskets I found at um, Target. They were like a brown. So that was not going to work for me personally. So I went ahead and I primed them with the keels again and I spray painted them. And I made these real cute little, I think I made them a long time ago and I'm still keeping them. I alter these real cute little keys. I want to do a tutorial on it. They're keys that I've altered with um, pieces of earrings and jewelry. And I made these cute little tags and I keep my supplies. Like this is all my ATC supplies. This is mixed media. This is more of the dominoes that I want to alter. Here I keep my big punches that I don't want to ever get rid of. Uh, this has to do with kitchen. Is it kitchen? Yeah, this has all memorabilia that has to do with like kitchen. I'm planning on doing some journals kitchen related. These are my some of my background stamp or my mixed media stamps that I love. This is more mixed media. This is sewing. This is all kinds of stuff that has to do with sewing theme. More mixed media. These are beads that are plastic beads, chipboard, chipboard. So this is holding a ton, a ton of stuff. And I love that. And on the side here, I've added that little stair thing right here is from a, I'm going to mess this up. I want to say, is it a trundle bed? Like those kids' beds that are up and down. I found it in the garbage. So I put it there to hold some things. And there's a little shutter right back there. So it just holds all kinds of stuff that I like. And it makes me happy. Let me see if I can show you up front. Here's more of these little people that I make. They're so cute. Look, they're like, they can be used for little tassels. Oh, well, whatever you want. And then I gave him a little blush. And a little personality. They all have their own little cute personality. So anyway, they're little tassel people. I keep them here. This is from my friend Esme. I love it. And 
just some of my favorite pinky stuff. This up here is a crown that I made out of chicken wire for a design team project a long time ago and I still love it so I keep it here. And again, let's go back to this area here. I'm calling this the top of my uh, cross space uh, door. Anyway, this, I have to find a new system for this. This is not working out all that well because I have a lot of dead space on top. Like all this is space that I can use that's not being used. So I don't know if I'm going to build some kind of a system to go back here or what. I don't know. But for now, it's just holding like this is my mixed media travel bag. When I go out in the yard with stuff, I just everything I ever need to create a page or anything is that. I don't need anything else from those cards or any fancy stuff. Just my basic stuff to do mixed media. It's in this bag. My sewing basket. These little books, look, see, these were also done, these were also picked up by Stampington. I love these. This was my latest thing that was published like, I don't know, a few months ago, half, half a year ago, I don't remember. But they were submitted about a year ago, but they were created in my six by six little space. So like I said, you don't need a big space to do pretty things. And this box, I'm so proud of this box. This box was also given to me by my friend Janet. It's a cheese box. Let me show you, I have to show you this because I love this box. I'm never gonna get rid of this. This pretty box is a wood cheese box that I have altered. I love vintage stuff and in here I keep my favorite favorite little paper dolls I keep them all in there and I kind of keep the vintage box where I can see it because again it makes me happy if I'm in a vintage mood to decorate something or do a book or something I just look at it so anyhow we're almost at the end of our tour um, this little table, this pink table here with the two little flaps that open on the side. This used to be my mama's sewing table for many years. It's antique and it's got brass little casters on the bottom, real old. And I prayed about it because I didn't know if I wanted to paint it. But I said, you know what? I don't like it the way it is. I'm going to like it better if I paint it. So I painted it and I did a little stencil on it. And I have used it. I've had people over. And I've used it for extra space. I take it out and it became like a little drinking, like a little bar area, like a little drinking refreshment area. So it worked out really well. So I'm going to keep it. This is where I store uh, some of my favorite that are out that I can see. Some of my favorite um, laces and ribbons, and uh, laces and trim. And I have some more over here. Back there are some more ATCs. My cat took the other little baby shoe. I can't find it. I don't know where, where he put it. I've uh, been looking for it for weeks. More storage. I keep some of my dry flowers here because I found that bucket a while back. It's all rusted and I love it. It's very pretty. I made these lanterns with these sweet little kids from next door. They came over to craft one day and I made those cute little lanterns. I put some vellum butterflies on there and this is one of those storage see the you see how I I'm not done with this room I still have to put the plate on that plug on that switch um so this is just basically like my pink thing I just keep a lot of pink stuff that makes me happy here so yes you guys like you like you know you've seen there's a lot of stuff to cover in this room that I cannot all cover it all at once but like I said if there's anything a particular area that you want me to do in details in detail please do not hesitate I like to look at people's things because it gives me ideas but again the main reason for me to do this to do this video was first of all to tell you that I have not accumulated all this stuff in a week this has been years and years of accumulating things that I like it looks pretty, but a lot of this stuff, most of it is recycled, repurposed, hand-me-downs, fixer-upper stuff. 
And again, to tell you that you do not need a big space to create and to be inspired. You don't need that at all. You can be as creative in a little area that you, sometimes even in a big space like this, sometimes it can get overwhelming when you have too much, you don't know what to pick, you know, like, do I work from this side? Do I work on that side? So, um, so hopefully you found some little tips and ideas here that you may want to like and you may want to use in your, in your, um, crafty area. And if you have any questions, like I said, on anything, you can leave it underneath. If you like this video, I would love to, if you can give me a thumbs up. And if you really, really love it, if you can share it, it will help me a lot. So that's one last look at the room. This whole room is going to change by the time I, maybe by the time I do another room update, it will all change. Like all the Christmas stuff is going to be changed.